Welcome back to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Today's video is a final Friday planner collaboration video for the month of October. Check out the links to the other collaborators this month in the description box below. You'll also see links to any supplies that I used in this video. Hit the subscribe button and select the option to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Now this video series, my goal is to demonstrate how to create unique, colorful planner spreads using mixed media, art journaling, card making tools and techniques. So you don't have to go out and buy those expensive planner accessories. Use things in your stash. This is my classic planner and I switched to the smaller size and I'm absolutely loving the smaller size. It's perfect fit for me. Now with the month of October, I decided to go very seasonal with the change of the leaves and the trees. It's one of my favorite times of the year and I went with that. I also decided that my goal was to use some of my gel prints. I have just completed a video series on how to do some gel printing using everyday items and I'll put a link to that or an iCard and I decided I needed to use some of those gel prints and so this month I'm going to be using a lot of my gel prints. So the leaves you see here I cut with my silhouette or I traced from a stencil that I had um, or I cut out I use the outline on a free printable that I printed off from the internet. So there's lots of ways of getting different shapes and sizes of leaves. And I just did this sitting down one afternoon when I really wasn't, I didn't know what I wanted to create. So I just made a whole bunch of leaf embellishments. I went through my paper supply, my, my gel prints, and I just traced and cut and made a whole bunch of leaves. And I'll do this with things that I know, like leaves, like butterflies, hearts, things I know that I'm going to be using at some point in time, be it in my planner, my art journaling, or in my canvases. So after playing around with the orientation and different shapes of leaves, I decided to go with the three oak leaves kind of cascading down the side of this, the monthly planner spread. Now I'm just using my black liner pen my micron pen I believe and just outlining it just to give it a little bit of definition and make it stand out from the page. Later in the video um, on all the pages you're going to see lots of different ways that I use to shade and to outline elements on my planner spreads. So in, in a little bit it's kind of a um, tutorial on all the different ways to finish elements and that can be used in art journaling and on your canvases as well. So once that was done I went through my quote binder and I found the quote what feels like the end is often the beginning. Now for most people October and autumn is a time of endings. The leaves fall off the trees, harvest is done, the growing season is done. But for me, October has always been a month of beginnings. It has been a very important month in my life. My parents were married in October. My birthday is actually in October. I bought my first house 20 some years ago in October. I got married in October seven years ago. I retired in October last year, moved to BC in October last year. We bought our second home in October. And now this October, my husband is changing a new job after 20 years with the same company. So as you can see, lots of endings and lots of beginnings for me in this month. So this quote was just perfect. And that's one of the things that I like so much about creating my own planner spreads from my own materials because I can 100% gear it and personalize it to me and it reflects exactly where I am in this point in time. So in that respect it's kind of a journal as well. So here is the first week spread and the color scheme in this 18 month one is still in that pinky corally tone. Now here are more of the gel prints that I pulled that were all kind of fall autumn colors. 
And as I said earlier, my goal is to use some of these to create some interesting planner spreads. And I'll be honest, when I sat down, I really had no idea other than that what I was going to do. But fortunately, I got inspired. I just started and got inspired and the entire four weeks just seemed to flow together. And I'm really happy with the results. And I hope that you'll enjoy what I came up with. So this gel print I actually created in one of my gel printing videos and I used leaves from the trees and there's the gel print and I just cut a banner across the top of it. Now last month I decided to turn my planner on its side and use it that way and I really really like it. It's so easy to fold it back and to write in things and I'm just thinking wow that was such a great idea. So I went into my big stash of all those leaves and you saw all the leaves that I have and I pulled out all these little ones about this shape and I decided that I'm just going to put them across the bottom of the top page and the bottom of the second page. Play with a little bit of, you know, bordering the whole thing and, you know, kind of fussy placing it and deciding, but this is pretty much what I went with in the end. My goal with the planner spreads is to add color. When I turn the page and I see these bright, colorful pages and with these personalized quotes that I've handpicked, I really love that. Now this month, because time is kind of um, getting away from me and I've got lots of things coming up and exciting, I've decided to try to start selling my art and so I need to prepare a bunch of that stuff to to uh, hang and to get ready to sell so I've been busy with that and we're busy with with uh, other family things and ending the season I just decided that I'm just going to go a little simpler so I'm not adding any bullets or lists or anything else to my planner and I'm gonna try that out for this month and we'll see how it goes a lot of times the bullets that are there I don't really use so while it's showing you a way that you can use what's in your stash on your planner spread for this planner spread I'm not doing that if you want to see some of the options and how I've created bullets using some stencils and stamps please check out other videos in this series there's a whole playlist um, mixed media meets the happy planner or happy planner meets mixed media so the quote that I chose to use here comes from Anna Green Gables and it says I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers and I printed it out in two different fonts and actually this one that you see right here is actually a mixture of a couple fonts and I usually do that different sizes different things because I don't know what I'm going to actually use and sometimes I audition both of them before I decide and whatever I don't use just goes into um, I've got a little treasure chest box where I keep those and then so on the second week spread I'm still using the jelly print but this time I got used my circular punch this is a two inch circular punch and I'll admit it I actually went out and bought this I'm wanting to buy a circular punch for a long time and I never it never quite made the top of the list so what I did is I bought the circle punch and I cut out a bunch of circles all different colors off of the gel prints that I created in my last five videos gel printing um, videos actually for a couple projects Christmas related projects and I decided that I'm going to use them here so I pulled out the ones that are um, autumn colors and I'm just gluing those on then I went to my quote book that you saw just earlier and I flipped through and I cut out any quotes that just kind of meant something to me and my theme being the month of October is change endings beginnings that kind of stuff so that's what I'm kind of putting on all these balls and I thought that would be kind of nice to have again the balls that are cascading down and then put a different quote on all of them and this is a quick easy way of you know basically making your own stickers 
Now, if you don't have gel prints, you can use your scrapbook papers. You can use stuff you have from card making. You can even cut out, you know, use magazine pictures that are um, very colorful and cut it out. And they would be colorful circles or or whatever shape you use with your punches. I only own the one punch, but if you have, if you're a card maker or a scrapbook booker, you have more. So dig them out and use them in your planners to make custom stickers and design elements. So the next page, I just was not done with these circles, and I decided to make a banner, colorful banner, at the top of this page. Now, I don't think you see it later on. I add one at the bottom because it seemed that all my week spreads had a top and a bottom, and this one didn't, so I added it after off camera. I think you'll see it in the final pictures, though. So arranging the colors of these balls, and I know that I'm going to use some shading and detailing work, finishing work later on, and that's going to make them pop and show, kind of show that layering a little bit more. So I'm just going to glue these down again with the glue stick. If you're using gel medium, again, make sure you watch how wet it is. I wouldn't use any other liquid glue, and I would make sure that I dried it right away so you don't end up with warped pages. Now again, when I talk, I'm using my experience with the Happy Planner. If you have a different planner, the pages may be thicker or thinner, so test it out for yourself. And then going through the quotes and deciding which quote that I want to put here. And I chose the one because she chose to see the world in bright, bold colors. Which, again, to me, that is fall. I absolutely love the fall leaves. The leaves are not changing color here just yet, but I look forward to it because we have a really extended fall here on Vancouver Island. And I really get to enjoy the multitude of colorful leaves. And that wasn't something we saw so much in Saskatchewan. If we got a frost early, the leaves would fall and we wouldn't get the colorful show that would be possible. So on this page, I'm still using the punch. I just decided to use part of the circle and give a different design feature. So this shows you can use, use your punches in different ways, use different shapes, and you're just decorating it, you know, Instead of paying someone to design papers for you, you are basically just doing that yourself. And the great thing about that is it's 100% individualized. Nobody's going to have the exact same anything that you have on your planner spread. If you haven't used a gel plate, Please check out my videos on using it. I absolutely love my gel plates. Uh, I use them so much. Basically, you make your own scrapbook papers, your own background papers. And there's just so many ways to, to use that in your art, no matter what kind of art you do. My quotes binder that you saw earlier, basically I went, took, found a lot of quotes on Pinterest, and if you go to my Pinterest site, and the link is in the description box, you can access all those quotes. I went and I typed those out onto my Word program, and then I printed them off in different size fonts and different, um, different types of fonts, and then I just put it in a binder, and then I pull it out whenever I'm creating... Um, my planners and, uh, or my ATCs or ICADs, the smaller art forms. 
So now I'm going to show various ways to finish or add deep shading and to some of the elements on the page. Here I'm using a woodless charcoal pencil and I like how this works. I think I'm using the medium one here. It's really it gives a very nice soft effect. It adds a lot of depth to everything. The only downside it, it kind of smudges a little bit and if that's something that's going to bother you this particular way of doing it on especially on the planner page which is on a white sheet may not be for you but I think it's one of the quickest easiest ways of getting that effect now here I've decided that I'm going to use dash 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 on all the pages on all the elements that I've done on all the pages and that is just another way that it's going to um, all my weekly spreads work together. They're kind of similar colors and that's another element that's the same on each page. And I like repeating that when I'm working on a theme. Now you could have gone with black and for all the other pages I really did go with black. Um, this one it just seemed that I needed white. So for these balls I decided to use my ink tense pencils. Now I like the ink tense pencils because when they are dry they are permanent and you do not end up with the um, smudging that I got with the charcoal pencil. The other advantage to using the ink tense pencil is that I can use whatever color I want. And here I've chosen to use the Shiraz color. I want to bring out that pinky tone to tie in with the lines on that were already on the page. So I just outline it and then activate it with water on a brush. You could use a water brush too. I just prefer using my regular brush. You could do the same with watercolor pencils. However, the watercolor pencils will not be permanent. Don't think that's a big issue on your planner, but you know, when you make the decision of what you're going to use, just know that. And because I'm bad at water, I'm giving it a quick dry. Now I do grab my Secura Jelly Roll pens in gold here to do the dot dot or the dash dash all the way around. And while I liked it, it wasn't enough. And I do come back later with black and basically add secondary dashes in the black just to add a little bit more definition. But again, that's personal taste. Now here I'm back to the charcoal pencil and as you can see like it is super quick to use this. Now for the leaves I decide to use my Stabilo All Pencil and it does come in green and blue, brown, black, I believe a, a, a charcoal-y color as well and you just activate it with a water brush as well or a brush, brush with water and I like the way that it flows. It's um, just somehow different than the ink tense blocks, but it's not permanent. So it would reactivate. But I'm just showing all the different possibilities. And there you can see the difference between the one that was done and the one that wasn't done. It does make a difference to the final product. Now when you're activating it, you can activate it and kind of tweak it out as much or as little as you like. And again, that's personal flair. When I first started using the Stabilo L pencil, I did not like it. I couldn't get it to work and I just had to kind of relax a little bit and kind of go with the flow and not worry so much. And then I found that I liked it a whole lot more. So here I'm using, I don't, can't remember what the name of the pen is, it's just like my Micron pen. It's just a different brand and it was what was handy. Here I'm going around the quotes, just outlining it very sketchily. Um, I go over it like two, three times and I'm not trying to be neat. 
Because I wanted a darker black to show up on here, I'm using the Posca pen, and we've discovered in other videos that the Posca pen, even when you write straight on the planner, doesn't bleed through, so that's a good thing to know. But again, test it out specifically on your planner in a place that you don't care before you do anything, because I don't even know that all happy planners are going to be the same. So I'm just adding more detail as I see fit. Now that most, most of the spread is done. And like I said, I'm not putting the bullets, I'm not doing that, but you can go to my other videos and see all the various ways I've created bullets and personalized that on my planner spreads without buying the stuff that they're selling, the stamps and, and things that they're specifically selling for planners. I didn't put these on this month, but I'm going to recycle and reuse the ones from past months. Okay, so that brings us to an end. Let's just go through the entire month. And we have on the monthly, monthly spread, you know, and I'm going to go put in my birth dates and special events and all that kind of stuff on here on my own. Um, you know, basically just writing it in, taking it off my phone and writing it in. So we have, you know, some, some floral here, kind of sets the theme. It feels like the end is often the beginning. And I just love how that looks. We have kind of the fall thing. I'm so glad I live in a world where there's, where there are Octobers. You know, and I've got my jelly print leaves in there. I have not put in bullet points or any of that kind of stuff. Um, the way I'm planning, sometimes I'm using more than sometimes less, so we'll see how this goes. Um, maybe next month we'll be back to doing what I was doing before. So we have this one with the balls cascading down and they just look so so nice. I'm really quite happy with them. So you don't need, you know, get out your punches, whatever shape they are, and use them with your gel prints with, with you know, um, your colored papers and embe embellish your pages. Lots of quotes in there. Still more with these colors and I just love, 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 love the colors here you know, top and bottom. I guess I could put a coat down here if I wanted. But again, the coat fits because she chose to see the world in bright, bold colors. So it's just very there. It's a great way of using your gel, gel prints. And a little bit more muted page here. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And, you know, don't give up. Great things take time. Which will bring us to the end of October. I did not make these um, dividers for this. It's a matter of, of time. Um, what I could do is just use the same ones because they are kind of laminated and stuff. I can just use some of the same ones, kind of match, match the colors in there. And just go along those lines and reuse them.